What's going on guys? This is me Asin. So ever since I made that video on the new support for uh, Fallen of Abaz, well, I mean, yeah, Fallen of Abaz, I guess that and Despia and Bestial overall, I promised you guys that I would be making, you know, updated combo videos and deck profile. And uh, yeah, like I said, I was trying to figure out some combos with the new cards. Uh, it's pretty nice so far. So this is what I managed to figure out. I think the deck is really good because the new Ecclesia is like a Foolish Burial and a Monstry Born. So double value and it's a level 4 tuner. Uh, which also means that you can start Synchro Summoning on your opponent's turn with the Branded Etude, but I don't think that that card is really going to be uh, seeing much play. But anyways, before this video starts, my man, you already know the drill. Friendly reminder to smash the like and subscribe button. Let's try get, to get this video to 1,000 likes because as soon as we hit that, I will be making a live stream on this deck. Because again, I've gotten unbanned on Edo Pro. Let's freaking go. And now let's get right into combo number one out of four. Alrighty, so my hand uh, is pretty nice. I have Branded and High Spirits and uh, Lubalion, but uh, no Branded Fusion, no Aluber, no nothing. So um, what will I do? Don't worry, every path leads to Rome. Uh, Lubalion discards uh, Surge the Saronier, and then High Spirits pitch the Saronier in order to search for the Albion. And you're going to be going Saronier Effect to send a Retribution because, uh, yes, this is like the best bestial monster in this deck. In, like, other decks, it's funny because Saronier and, like, Sprite or Tear Laments is just, like, a DD Crow with legs. But in this deck, like, the Foolish Burial effect is just ridiculous. Anyways, Albion is going to be sending the uh, Branded Fusion. And now, of course, Retribution being so good, you can banish it to recycle back Branded Fusion from the Grave to the Hand. And you're going to be using it right away, so send the Jaugen, the Spiritualist, as well as Fallen Valbas to summon the Albion. And Jaugen being particularly good in this deck because it is a light spellcaster, meaning that you can send it in order to summon the new uh, Fallen of Albas Fusion. I, I forgot the name, Jesus. It it's somewhere here. It's not in this combo, but you'll see it eventually. Anyways, Albion banished the Saronier as well as Fallen of Albas, summon the Lubalion, and then summon the Mirror Jade and the other Lubalion, uh, summoned by uh, sending the uh, Albion. And then we're going to be using its effect to get the Branded Beast. And that's all we're doing on the main phase. But don't go thinking that this combo is over. On the end phase, we're going to be going uh, Titanic Cloud effect. Because that was sent from the extra deck to the graveyard. With the effect of uh, Branded and High Spirits. And we're going to be sending for, uh, well, summoning the Guiding Quem the Virtuous. Which is going to be Foolishing for the Branded Lost. And now Branded Beast is going to be getting back the Branded Lost. And then Albion is going to be getting the Branded Expulsion. This is the card that allows us to revive back the Jaugen, so this card's really nice. And now Mirror Jade is going to be sending the Brigrand, I think that's the name of the card, the Trigate Fusion, basically, in order to banish the Lubalion. And we're going to be, uh, you know, triggering the effect of Guiding Quem to revive back the Albion. And the Brigrand is going to be searching for the Trigate Mercurier, which means that we have a Monster Negate on top of everything else. And then on the opponent's standby phase, we tribute the Albion, revive back the Jaugen, as well as the Saronier. And the reason why we really want to revive back the Saronier and not like any other monster is because it is a bestial monster that will make the Branded Beast live. Two cards. Um, th this is pretty much nothing. Ends on a pop, a uh, Vanity's Emptiness, a Monster Negate, and a guaranteed OTK for next turn. And we're also going to be getting a lot of resources. Like, just look at this end phase. We're going to be triggering the effect of... Uh, 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 sorry. The effect of Albion, the effect of Branded Beast to get back the Rebrained, Regained. All those names are just so confusing, man. They all changed. But anyways, uh, and then uh, obviously we draw for turn. It doesn't matter, man. I really couldn't care I can use the effect of Mirror Jade in order to banish my own Jaugen, <laughs> funny enough, and then uh, put it back on the bottom of the deck with the effect of Regained, and then draw one card, summon a fusion, search with the Branded Lost. I couldn't care less because I already have way more than enough to kill you. And look at this, man. I have uh, 20 billion cards in my hand. I can negate monster effects. <laughs> Good luck playing. You're dead. And that's it for combo number one. Very simple two-card combo. Ends on what I consider pretty much an unbreakable board for most decks. All right, combo number two. This time, I don't have Branded and High Spirits, but I do have Aluber, Branded Fusion, as well as the Bestial Lubalion, which is really nice. So normal summon the Aluber, and we're going to be searching for what? Branded Lost. So activate that, and then Branded, uh, sorry, the Bestial Lubalion. Albion Surge the Saron here, and then send the Jaugen as well as Fun of Abbasim and the Albion. Chain Link 1 Albion, and then Chain Link 2 Branded Lost. Not the other way around. You want the, uh, the Fusion Summon to be the last thing to happen because otherwise the Branded Lost is going to be missing the timing because it is a when effect. So uh, definitely uh, watch out for that. Anyways, you're going to be uh, now summoning your Lubalion. Uh, discard the Mercury, I believe, or banish it. I forgot, uh, we're doing too many things, but whatever, discard your other card, <laughs> and then, uh, oh yeah, th there we go, we sent, we discarded the Saronier and banished the Mercurier, the, now I finally remember, and we're going to be sending the uh, Branded Retribution, as well as use the effect of Albion to send the Branded Expulsion, 
draw one card, it doesn't matter what you draw. And then Bestial Lubellion is going to revive itself back. Again, that is not a uh, an effect, it is a summoning condition. So ironically, even under Dweller, you can still revive back the Lubellion. Yes, a lot of people don't know that. But anyways, Lubellion get the Branded Beast, and then uh, get back the Expulsion with the effect of Retribution. Uh, is that Retribution? Yes, there you go. And then End Phase Albion get back the Branded Red, and we're still not done yet because we can banish the Aluber, send the Titanic Lad, and then summon the Ecclesia. Well, it's not even... It doesn't even have Ecclesia in its name. That's very interesting. Guiding Quem the Virtuous. And this is going to be foolishing for literally anything. I couldn't care less. <laughs> but uh, yeah, on the opponent's turn, we also have a target for Branded Red, which means that we can summon whatever Guardian Camera. And then draw two cards, destroy one card my opponent controls. And again, a, a Fusion Monster left the extra deck, so that can trigger the effect of a Guiding Quem revive back. And we Fusion Summon, so we can search for a Fallen of Albaz monster and go for Retribution. Tribute the uh, Albion, and then revive back the Saronir as well as the Jalgen. The uh, Saronir is ready to pop with the effect of Branded Beast, and the Jalgen is uh, Vanity's Emptiness again. So this is a really, really nasty combo. And if you have Branded Itrude on top of all of that, even if the Jalgen dies, you can Synchro Summon for like, I don't know, a Baron on the opponent's turn, because you have a level 4 tuner and a level 6 non-tuner. So that's it for this one. Really, really nasty. Let's get right into the next combo. Alrighty, so my hand is the nuts again. <laughs> I have branded opening, branded lost, Trebigate Mercurier, as well as regained and Druid Worm. So I'm going to be going draw phase, always dodge the Drool and Logbird and Valor. Uh, pitch the Trebigate and then go for Aluber, search the branded fusion. And then you're going to be activating both of your continuous spells. Because, you know, why not, right? And then Red Diffusion send the Jalgen as well as Fallen of Albaz. Again, I'm always going to be doing that. So, uh, <laughs> just to, like, uh, not shock you. Because this is not the first and last time I'm going to be sending Jalgen to summon Albion. It's, uh, it's much better than going straight for Lubalion. Because, realistically, the only dark monster that you're really sending would be the Tragedy. And all it really does is search, like, an Ad Libitium. Which really doesn't do much. Honestly, it does nothing. Uh, it, it only makes it so that your branded in red becomes really nasty because then you revive back the Mirror Jade and you use the effect again. But if the game plan is to go for the Jalgen lock, then the real strategy is to send, well, obviously Jalgen, but also summon the Albion so that you can get more Enfy searches. But anyways, we're going to be going chilling. One, two, three. So search for the Mercurier uh, for the Guiding Quem. And then this uh, Regained is going to be drawing you one card. Oh, I drew Lubellion, not too bad. And finally, we're going to be uh, fusion summoning for the Mirror Jade. Anyways, summon the Guiding Quem. Yeah, finally, normal summoning after 10 years, man, I know. Uh, send the Retribution. And then Albion Effect, send the Theater. And we can recycle back the Theater with Retribution. And then use it right away in order to fuse for a Masquerade. And we got uh, the Albion in the graveyard that way, so that's pretty cool. And the Guiding Quem is going to be reviving back the Albion, so that was free real estate. And we're not done yet again. Lubellion surge the Magnemote. And then send the Albion to revive back the Lubalion. End phase, <laughs> uh, we're going to be getting the Retribution. And again, we're going to be playing so much on the opponent's turn. So send the Brigrand, banish your Lubalion. And then draw one card, revive back the Albion. And we have the uh, Expulsion, so revive back the Aluber as well as the Jagin. Search with the Aluber, this is ridiculously unfair. And on top of all of that, I have two Bistol Monsters in my hand. I'm basically gonna have to put in the effort to lose this game. But uh, you want another combo that is really insane? Don't worry, my man, I got you combo number four. Alrighty, this is combo number four, but before we proceed, friendly reminder to smash the like and subscribe button. I appreciate you guys so much, and now uh, let's get right into it. So, again, a really good hand, right in the high spirits, so as well as a uh, tragedy. So we're only here branded in red, as well as branded lost. So no branded fusion, but again, for the 10th billion time, every path leads to Rome, I couldn't care less. So, <laughs> high spirits on draw phase to dodge uh, Drool and Logbird. Send the Saronir, search the Albion, and then Foolish for the Retribution, send the Branded Fusion with the Albion. Recycle back the Branded Fusion, I drew a, uh, Ad Libitium, doesn't really do much, but I don't care. And then uh, Branded Lost, activate Branded Fusion, send the Jalgen, <laughs> the, I, I've seen that before. And then uh, search the Mercurier, and then Fuse for the Lobalion by using the materials from the graveyard, so we still have a bunch of cards in our hand. And we're going, going to be discarding the Tragedy now. But chain the Branded in Red to our own Lubalion because we want to banish the Lubalion and then use it as a material and the banish to summon the Mirror Jade. That's a little less neggy than having to shuffle back a monster from your field and then having to use actual materials from your field and hand in order to use the Branded in Red. That's way too much. So yeah, I'm going to be chaining now. And we're going to be going from uh, Masquerade. 
and then uh, use again the materials from the banished and we're going to be triggering the effect of the uh, tragedy so surge the aluber and then normal summon the aluber get the theater again again make another masquerade as if one wasn't enough so we have double masquerade with a uh, unused mirror jade and the titanic lad is going to be a uh, special summoning the guiding quem which is going to be foolishing for brendan high spirits or whatever else it really doesn't matter well i mean that's obviously a really dumb move in that situation the correct card to search uh, send would probably be uh, the albion but uh, this is really just to show that there is really nothing at this point that you really need from that guiding quem it's really just like free value for I don't know, like special summoning monsters from the graveyard for free. I'm going to be getting the expulsion with the Albion. And then on the opponent's turn, this is where it gets really nasty. So like I said, we have an unused up Mirror Jade. We meaning that we can use the effect by sending whatever, like an Albion, for example, and then banish a card or opponent controls while a monster. And then uh, we also have a monster to gate. By the way, in case that wasn't enough with Mercoyer. And we have the expulsion, which can tribute that Mirror Jade and summon back the Jaugen as well as the Aluber, which again gets us another search with the Aluber. And uh, if we fusion summon again on our opponent's turn, we have Branded Lost. And this uh, Guiding Quem could revive back the uh, Mirror Jade, actually, if I recall correctly, which is also really disgusting. <laughs> that is it for this one. And for the video overall, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. As always, deck profile coming up tomorrow, and I'll see you guys very soon. Peace.